I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Six of Swords ends with the Death card. Now, keep in mind the Six, the Six of Swords. It could be about some type of metaphorical movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, the change is for the better. What, whether the context is internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery is going to be helpful. And this does not have to cost money. Now, it's with a death card. With a death card, just know that it does not necessarily or even usually indicates physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will and such things. They are simply not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation, change, could be a change and where you are inwardly, but definitely a time of deep transformation. It's likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. The transition can be very difficult for some people. Even though the change is nearly always needed. So, the message that I'm getting from the Six of Swords, clarified by this death card, for you and your person's recent past energy, is that there could have been some turmoil, something happened, or some chaos happened in the relationship, in the connection. Um, maybe it was crumbling, maybe it was falling apart. But um, it looks like at some point you two made peace with each other. Yeah, you two realize that that was the best place to be. Because the Six of Swords, it can be about moving into calmer waters. And I'm getting for a lot of you, After the two of you moved into calmer waters, you didn't really stay friends. The connection kind of just faded away. Or it, it feels like it's fading away. Like there's probably not going to be much more togetherness or communication. It just, with the death card, it's showing that it's, 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 it's dying, the, the connection. Or it has died. But the good thing about it is the two of you made peace. Yeah, for a lot of you. The two of you realize that you need to come out of raging waters. Come out of the storm that the two of you had been in. Make peace. But then the outcome is showing. Not the outcome, but what it looks like is that after you two made peace, it feels like the two of you are just fading not falling apart, just growing apart, put it that way. Looks like that's what happened with this death card here. It's kind of like it, it, you, the two of you are ending, but you're at peace. You made peace. You, can't, you um, came together, and there was apologies. There were probably warm hugs and just letting... Uh, any disappointments, any grief, accepting that it happened, and moving on. 
So that's the reason to have synergy. That's what I'm getting for a lot of you cancers between you and your person. That's a ma very mature approach. A lot of people cannot do that. So it's good, though, because who likes to hold a grudge? Holding, holding grudges are easy, but they really do kill the, pe the person or the people that are holding a grudge. Because whoever you hold a grudge with, you carry that person with you on a daily basis or either constantly. And it eats at your insides. So, yeah, you two move into calmer waters. Yeah, and then you two move on. Or you moved on. So let's let's get off of that. Now let's talk about what's coming up. So we got the strength card. And it's with the seven of pentacles. Now, the strength card. With this one, it's important to make time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have 19 kids. But do not allow yourself to spend preoccupation or spend time in preoccupation and fear. And I say this because the outward things still be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Now, it's with the Seven of Pentacles, which can be a card about returns on investments, this could be a literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, maybe investments of time, energy, and effort that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown, and this is positive. So you should, you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. And things will be moving along, and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a really, really good cause. But you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So, the message that I'm getting for a lot of you Cancers with the Strength card, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, is that... Yeah, you're glad you, you've made peace with this person because it was probably taking its toll on you. So you're trying to clean, now you're trying to cleanse your energy and work on you with the strength card here. Strength card can be about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Yeah, being the best you that you can be. So you, you cleared your, you cleanse, you're trying to cleanse this person's energy from you. And you can do it. You realize you can do it now. Because you made peace. Yeah, there's no longer, you're no longer holding a grudge. You've released all the negative energy. So, I, mean, I don't know, for a lot of you, you're going to the, I was going to say the gym, but you can't really do that these days. Maybe you're planning to do a lot more exercise, get more outdoor activities. Um, just embracing you. And then it looks like you could be working towards the working towards some plans and goals for the new year, for 2021. And there's some things that you have in mind that you really, really want to make work for you. Could be a relationship, it could be business, it could be personal. Because the Seven of Pentacles is about putting time, effort, and energy into something that you really, really want to grow or make work. Seven of Pentacles is the card below the word present. You see how she's watering this plant? Well, that plant was a little tiny, teeny baby when she first got it. She could hold it in the palm of her hands. Now it's about 10 feet tall. The leaves are dark and rich in color. They're all healthy. She gets up every morning to take care of it. And before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. She really wants this plant to make it. So there's something that you're pushing for. And I'm getting that a lot of you have some big goals and plans that you're making for the new year. And you, you realize that you can do it now. You really you release the negative energy. Yeah, a lot of you were carrying a big grudge between you or you were carrying a big grudge, a huge grudge. 
uh, towards your person. And like I said, the connection is dying. It's fading away. But you're feeling better about yourself. You took the mature approach. Yeah, so you're cleansing your energy, working on you. Or maybe going towards a new a new um, connection. Or maybe towards someone else that you know that you feel that the can that that it can work there's something that you want to put time and effort and energy to and um yeah i like this i like the self-love self-respect i like the strength card because it's it empowers you you're embracing you so that's the coming up that's coming up for the present Okay, so let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Knight of Cups. And it's with the Page of Cups. Good, we're finally getting some romance in here because this is supposed to be a love reading. Alright, so Page with the Knight of Cups. The card above the word challenge. It is... It's, um... Like most, if not all, the cups in the tarot. It's optimistic. It's a good card to see in a reading. This one comes with messages. So someone could be coming towards you. Now usually, these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going to be going well. And you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. Now, this card, it often means good news. Especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So it's likely to be headed your way soon. Now it's with the Page of Cups, which shows me to play, dream, have a little fun when you get this card in a reading. It can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet or a writer that once said, the one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference, the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. Well, the first is imperative, and the second, it can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. So your challenge tonight of cups, clarified by the page of cups. So, yeah, like I said, with the seven of pentacles showing up for your present time, like I said, you could be working, going towards someone that you feel the connection is a better fit for you, and you know that if you put energy and effort and time into it, it will work and it will grow. Or maybe someone's feeling this way about you because the Knight of Cups has shown that somebody, somebody's rushing in. Somebody's rushing in to be with you. If you're wondering if you're going to hear from that person, whoever this Knight of Cups is, yes you are. They're rushing in, wanting to be very romantic and sensitive. That's what the Knight of Cups does. And you two will have a lot of fun, a whole lot of fun, by looking at the Page of Cups. Yeah, Page of Cups. It's the card below the word challenge. You see the way these three people, they're, they're, at, a, they're at a park, they're halfway naked, they're turning up the bottle, and they're having a, a wonderful time. And that's you and your your person. I don't know if this is someone new coming in this Knight of Cups. Someone that you already know. Or. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. For some of you, it's somebody new. For some of you, like I said, it's somebody that you know. I wish I could tell you who it was. But I can't. Anyway. You know who it is. Or maybe you don't. Well, let's see what the outcome is. We, I can definitely tell you that. I can definitely tell you that. Okay, so we got this world card, and it's with the nine of swords. Now, the world card is about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way, so just don't quit now because you're so close. You could start to feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. 
you're getting closer to who you are at your deepest levels. And when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you could be working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case, toot your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now it's with the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is showing that there's a need to guard against anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you because there's something about this time period that can make people feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort, try to take joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. Yeah, so, so the outcome, something's troubling you here. Cancer with this Nine of Swords showing up. Now why did that have to come out for the outcome? Okay, so this is the message that I'm getting. Like I said, somebody's rushing in. Rushing in to be with you. Very romantic and sensitive, this Knight of Cups. You two, have a re you two are going to have a really, really good time. Halfway naked, turning up the bottle. But it looks like after that, you're having anxiety with this nine of swords. You're having nightmares. You're having grief. And then you're you're being sad. You're having some depression here. Um, what happened, Cancer? I, I don't know. What, what happened? You're having fun. Are you regretting that you, you had so much fun with this person? Um, I don't know what happened to you. You're having fun. Sometimes when we have fun, there can be flip-ups. And the kind of fun that they, they're having, I'm just staring at the way they're having fun. Like, they are having fun, and this person is coming in to be romantic and sensitive. The only thing I'm, the only thing I'm getting is that, I don't know, did the condom break, or did you wish you didn't do it? Um, you know how that song goes? Uh, what, how does that song go? Blame it on the alcohol. Blame it on the alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Anyway, I'm kidding for a lot of you. You wish you hadn't have done what you did with this person. Yeah, you might not feel like you went too far. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because there was liquor involved. So, with the world card here, showing up as the outcome also, you're closing out the chapter with this person. I'm think I'm kidding. You didn't mean to do it. Yeah. You were probably feeling good because you were working on yourself. You are probably taking better care of your body. You you were feeling more confident. And this person came rushing towards you, being romantic, being sensitive, probably telling you everything you want to hear. Yeah, so it looks like you might have regrets. So maybe take this reading as a warning. If somebody's coming towards you that you know or... Someone maybe new, being romantic and sensitive. It, you probably have a fun. You probably have a lot of fun with this person. And it'll be exciting. But for some reason, the next day or the next week is going to cause you some anxiety. So be careful. I don't know. Wear three condoms. Or just don't do it. Because you're going to realize that you need to stop, stop this cycle.
with this person or just stop doing what you're doing. So that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about each other, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you. In the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal reads if you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. Hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take the care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, maybe a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. And also, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the roles can be switched. They can. Yes, they can be switched. You could be your person. Or your person could be you. So, Cancer, I can never say this enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. Happy holidays. And take care.